Yo, we are a few days away from Halloween and Nike has two sneakers that are coming out for Halloween that I really think need to be spoken about. So we're going to talk about it. With that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, this is a show where you get content focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and of course, menswear fashion. Now, if you're interested in any of those that I listed above, I want you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below and let me know you rocking with the team, you dig. Now, today we are talking about two sneakers that are releasing for a Halloween, and I really think Nike needs to be spoken on about this one. So, let's just jump right into this, man. Let's just talk about it. I don't even want to waste no time. Let's go. Now, to keep it a buck with you, I just love the spirit of Halloween. So, every year, I'm always looking for the sneakers to drop, especially when it comes to dunks. So, there are two dunks that I actually feel is just the iconic dunks as of right now when it comes to Halloween. Like the two releases that they had, that's one, that's the Night of the Mischief dunks, and then we have the Mummy dunks, which was just fire. I think the concept of those was just fire. Sometimes Nike just continues to amaze me, but in this case, we got two sneakers that's dropping, and I think that they are just duds, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the release that they're about to have. Now, just to give you all some insight, these sneakers will be releasing on October 27th. So, of course, it's just a few days before Halloween actually come, but at the same time, it's still in good spirit of Halloween to try to get these dunks. I mean, I think it's cool for anybody who really just keeps up with the theme of Halloween and love dunks. But I just feel like right now, it's not worth it. Now, they're going for 120 I believe. That. That's just for the dunks. Now, the Air Force Ones that they are dropping are going to go for 150 Now, we know normally it's some fire joints that they actually release, but I just feel like these are just basic for what they are. Like, you might as well actually just attach some green to the bottom of your sneaker or paint the outside sole, and then after that, just have some black and say that it's a spooky dunk. But at the same time, like if you do look at these dunks, they have done some work on them. I just feel it's basic for what the idea of Halloween is, especially when they're trying to like lay on the concept thick. Now, if you look at these like shadow type dunks, they do look kind of basic, like they have the Nike swoosh that's on here. But at the same time, depending on where you turn the angle, you'll see the shadow of the swoosh that actually appears. So it's kind of like that old school type of creepy Count Dracula type of thing that's going on when you walk in through the castle and you will see like the shadows along the wall. That's kind of what I get when I'm looking at these sneakers. And it makes me feel like this is like old school gray Herman Monster type of vibe that I actually see because I mean, I just think of this old school gray TV screen that I'm looking at and trying to watch a horror movie. But in this case, I feel like it's a bad horror movie simply because it makes me feel like I know everything that's gonna happen. We know how the outcome of this movie is gonna be. And at the same time, it's just a long dud. So right now, that's how I feel about these sneakers. I mean, I'm just looking at them, just looking at the outsole. The crazy part is it does look like slime, which is, all right, it's pretty decent. But at the same time, usually there's some type of glow in the dark, which make it so fire for going trick-or-treating or something like that. Or even if you just really just enjoying the night, because nine times out of 10, that's how you're gonna enjoy Halloween. It's gonna be in the night. It doesn't glow in the dark. So, I mean, it looks like it's a glow in the dark, but it doesn't. So, it just looks like this basic slime green that's at the bottom. I get it. Okay. Going up to the mid. So, it's just really basic. I feel like it's this uh, basic off-white type of color. It's not actually white. It's like an off-white type of color, which is pretty decent when it comes to, like, contrast the color. Okay. That's a okay. I give that a decent. But then when you get up to the actual upper, this is where things is just like... <sighs> what was going on. You actually have the cracked leather that's on here that's old and spooky. I mean, it's that old type of retro gray cracked leather. I mean, I think it's cool for what it is. It's not bad. I'm not saying that this is just a trash dunk. I am saying that this is basic and it's not as appealing as I think it should be. But the only thing that does like have like this actual theme of it being spooky is like the shadow that's on here being spooky. And then if you look at the back of the heel, you will see that it's like the Nike You'll see the Nike font that's on there, but at the same time, you'll see like it's stretched out with this Nike font where it shows the actual shadow. Now that I will give them a 10 out of 10 on that. That was a good, that was a fire idea actually. But as far as the shoe entirely, it doesn't grab my attention too much. Now the inside of the sole, you do have that electric or slime green that's on there, that glowing green. I think that's cool too for the shoes, but at the same time, it just doesn't give me enough 
Halloween. Now, even though the design is like boring to me, I think it is fire that they actually releasing a full family set. So this is preschool, grade school, kids to adults, but adults will be dropping. The adult size will actually be dropping on October 27th. So everything below that, actually kids, preschool and everything like that, you actually can get them now. But as a whole for itself, as a dunk, as the design, nah, this is a pass, this is a fail. Um, but not to worry, if you are really into sneakers and you still want to get something for Halloween, they are releasing some mid Air Force Ones that's coming out. Now, again, this is the same concept, same thing, aside from the green that's at the outer sole, it's just all black. And the theme of it on there is pretty much the actual same. Uh, you have the cracked leather that's on there. You have the actual smooth leather that's on there, but it's all black. And then you have the gray lettering, of course, the shadow. If a shadow is the is as much as you could think of when it comes to uh, Halloween, I, I like, I don't know what to say. Like this is a bore, like to release that Air Force One. But I mean, like if you want to stay along of the theme of Halloween, that's cool. You want to add it in as a collection. I think that's more so what it is. It's meant to just grab as a collection, either beat up real quick and wear them for the night or just add them to your collection and just let them sit and say hey i have some halloween sneakers but in the case of actually putting them together as a fashion as a style and then wearing them for like halloween's to come in the future these ain't it prana these are not it i actually think that these are both aboard these are not what i was anticipating because i was really amped up to see what they did for 2022 but these are a fail so both of them i actually say that the actual dunk and the air force one itself uh, it just ain't grabbing to me. Let's see what we can do hopefully next year. But with that being said, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed this real quick. I had to let that out real quick. Drop those comments down below if you think these are fire. If you think these are trash, let me know what's up, man. Uh, I want to hear your comments. I want to see I, I want to see your comments and see how y'all actually feel about this. Now, with that being said, I hope y'all have a spooky Halloween, a safe Halloween, a fun Halloween. Dress up, get candy, and hope your kids enjoy themselves. With that being said, I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. I'll catch up with y'all next time. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all, all right? Peace!